and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in and thank you so much to everybody who has been watching and subscribing. I am really humbled and grateful for all of your support of my little channel. My son gets a kick out of it as well so we're having a lot of fun with it and I hope you are too. I thought I'd um, hop on here this morning and uh, talk about how to hang pictures and artwork in a mobile home. A friend reached out to me with that question and I had that question myself prior to moving here. Seems like a no-brainer, but it, I mean, it's a valid question, right? So here we go. I'm going to take you along with me with my tripod and my iPhone 5. So no guarantees, but I'm doing the best that I can. Here we go. So I'm going to take you to a wall here. Uh, these are, I believe, VOG Walls Vinyl on Gypsum, which is a vinyl coating over sheetrock. And you know, sheetrock is a, a builder's grade material in all, basically all builds. And it's got a nice like vinyl wallpaper like coating over it. This is paintable from what I understand. However, I'm not gonna paint over it because I like the look and the texture of it. And of course, this is a brand new mobile home. So uh, others that you're looking at uh, that are maybe a little bit older probably will be different. It's got these strips that run down from top to bottom. And what these are, are there, it's kind of an aesthetic type of uh, coverall because these are wall panels that join together. So if the strip was not here, it would just be uh, kind of a, a not very attractive scene. So they have these on here. And then these two pieces I've got here, these are some of my vintage artwork pieces that I found at another thrift store. And um, these are quite lightweight. Although they seem pretty large and heavy and substantial, they are light. So they are simply nailed to the wall. And what I was taught is that anything under two pounds, you can nail. You can nail uh, anywhere, essentially. And that has worked for me. I haven't had anything that has fallen to the floor or anything like that. Now, if they're more than two pounds, you need to locate a stud and hang it on that. And how you look for that or identify that, and I'm going <laughs> to do the best I can here. Um, but I will show you on another wall if you can't see it. There are staples and they will run down from top to bottom through the course of the, um, the stud on the wall. And these are mainly on the exterior walls. I haven't seen a lot of them on the interior and I think that has to do with load bearing, but I'm not an expert. So um, you may wanna do your own research on that. But um, yeah, so this is a really heavy art piece and this I have placed on a stud. So I just followed the staple down with my finger and then I nailed that. And I haven't had any problems with my heavier pieces falling at all if I do it on a stud and I've lived here for nine months so so far so good. I uh, will take you out um, maybe where it's a little bit brighter and I can show you uh, another stud um, so you have a better idea of that and I hope you're having a great day so far. So uh, yeah so here is one hopefully you can see that by my finger and then here is another one and i believe they're about 16 inches apart now if um if you can't see them because you have an older unit or uh, it's painted over you may just want to find or borrow a, a stud finder from somebody so I hope that helps and um, thank you so much again for watching. I hope you have a terrific day and we will see you next time.